Good morning, students, and welcome to today's class. So, in the last class, we had started with a new chapter that was geometry. So, we learned, uh, we revised a few basics of geometry. Then we saw what are uh, parallel and perpendicular lines, what are different types of angles, right? So, in today's class, we'll be learning what are triangles and what are the different types of triangles based on sides and the angles in a triangle. Okay. So first we'll uh, just do a quick recap on what we have learned in the last class. So first we studied what are parallel lines. So before that we did a few re quick recap of basic geometry, right? So what is a point? A point is something that gives you a position. Then we saw what's a line segment. Line segment is nothing but which has two end points and a fixed length or distance. Then we saw what's a ray. A ray is something which has one fixed point and it extends on the other side. And it cannot be measured. Its length cannot be measured. And we finally saw what is a straight of a line. A line is nothing but it doesn't have any end points. Okay, it can be extended on both the sides. And also it cannot be measured. Okay, then we saw types of lines. What are the different types of lines? Straight lines and curved lines. Then we saw the different types of straight lines. So we have horizontal line, which is also sleeping line, vertical line, which is standing line, and slanting line, which is neither horizontal nor vertical, is called as slanting lines. Okay, then we started with some few terms such as parallel lines and perpendicular lines. So what are lines? Lines on a plane that never meet are called as parallel lines. They are always at a same distance apart. So, best example for parallel lines is a railway track. Okay, they are always at the same distance apart and they always and they never meet. Okay, then perpendicular lines. Before perpendicular lines, we saw what are intersecting lines, correct? So, intersecting lines are nothing but lines which cross each other at a certain point okay so when these lines intersect each other at at right angle or at 90 degrees then they are called as perpendicular lines okay so parallel lines are lines which never meet and even if they are extended both the ways okay and lines which meet at a point are called as intersecting lines and when lines meet and when intersect when lines intersect such that they have a 90 degree angle they form a 90 degree angle and they're called as perpendicular lines so here figure 3 that is there shows a shows perpendicular lines then we saw what is an angle so what's an angle an angle is de uh, defined as the amount of turn between two rays okay that share a common end of a point end point so angles are measured in degrees okay so angles are formed when two rays uh, meet at a point or a common point okay so from when uh, formed when two rays start at from the same point okay so here that point is called as a vertex and the rays are called as the arms of the angle Okay, so when you have to measure an angle, you have to keep the baseline of a protractor on the vertex and then uh, such that it co the baseline coincides with the one of the arms and the other arm will give you the measure of the angle in degrees. Okay, so here this figure opens, uh, this angle opens towards the left and this angle opens towards the right. Right, so you always start uh, counting from zero of the scale okay you always start counting from zero so when it is open towards the left you start from the outer scale when it opens towards the right you start from the inner scale depending on which from where the zero starts okay so then we studied a few types of angles what are the types of angles first is an acute angle so when an angle measures greater than zero degree but less than 90 degrees then it is called as an acute angle okay acute angle then when an angle measures exactly 90 degrees then it is called as an right angle okay so uh, this P 
POQ angle shows a right angle. Then when an angle measures greater than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees then it is called as a obtuse angle. Okay, what is it known as? It is known as an obtuse angle. Then when an angle measures 180 degrees then it is called as a straight angle. So here LMN is a straight angle. Then we have next something called a reflex angle. When an angle measures less than 360 degrees but greater than 180 degrees then it is called as a reflex angle. So here the larger AOB angle is the reflex angle. Okay, so or the outer angle. If you can say that. Okay. Then an angle which uh, measures 0 degrees is known as a 0 angle. Okay, and an angle which measures 360 degree is called as a complete angle. So, zero angle and complete angle are named in the same way. Okay, but in the zero angle, the ray remains where it is. Okay, but the in a complete angle, the ray completes one full rotation and comes back to its original or initial position. Okay, so these are the different types of angles and what was perpendicular and parallel lines which we learnt in the last class. Now what we'll do is we'll see what are triangles and what are the different types of triangles based on sides and angles. So a triangle, what is a triangle? A triangle is a closed figure consisting of three line segments linked N to N. So it is a closed figure consisting of three line segments linked at end to end is called as a triangle. So this is how a triangle looks like. Okay, these are how triangles look like. These are different shapes of a triangle. Okay, so there are three line segments here which are linked end to end. So these two line segments are linked at this end. Then these two are linked at here. And these two line segments are linked at this end. Okay. So a closed figure with three line segments is called as a triangle. It, has, it is a plane figure. It has three sides and it has three vertices or three corners. Okay. So let's study types of triangles. So first we'll see what are the different types of triangles different types of triangles based on the length of their sides okay so types of triangles based on length of sides are scalene triangle isosceles triangle and equilateral triangle so what is a scalene triangle so scalene triangles are triangles in which none of the three sides are of the same length okay so if i say One side of this triangle is 4 centimeters, then this side is 5 centimeters, and this side is 7 centimeters. Okay, all the three sides of this triangle are of different length one is 3, one is 4, and one is 7 centimeters. Correct? So, when the sides are of different length, or when none of the sides are of the same length, then it is called as a scalene triangle okay what is it called it is called as a scalene triangle then isosceles triangle what is an isosceles triangle triangle in which two of the sides are of the same length so if i say this is three cent or four centimeters okay uh, okay let's draw it again if I say this side is 3 cm, 4 cm, this is 3 and this again is 4 cm. So these two sides are of the same length, correct? Both are 4 cm each. So this is 4, this is 4 and then this is 3. So when two sides of a triangle are of the same length, okay, and then the third side is a different length. So two sides of the triangle should be of the same length then it is called as an isosceles triangle. What is it called? It is called as an isosceles triangle. 
then we have an equilateral triangle what is an equilateral triangle now if i say this is two centimeters this is two centimeters and this is two centimeters when all the sides in a triangle are of the same length okay when all the sides of a triangle are of equal length then they are called as an equilateral triangle what are they called as they are called as equilateral triangle so scalene triangles triangles which none of the sides are of the same length so scalene triangle will look something like this then isosceles triangle triangles in which two of the sides are of the same length so an isosceles triangle will look like this an isosceles triangle not only are two sides of the same length but there are two angles which are equal okay there are two equal angles now if in this triangle okay these two sides are of the same length that is this side and this side if they are the same of the same uh, length then these two angles will be of the same angle so the angles opposite to these sides will have equal angle so this is the angle which is opposite to this side and this is the angle which is opposite to this side okay so scalene triangle has two same sides okay so, uh, sides with same length and two equal angles okay so when a triangle has two sides of equal length and two equal angles then it is called as an isosceles triangle then as we said in equilateral triangle all the sides are of the same length in an equilateral triangle also all the angles are also same okay if the sides are all same angles also will be equal so all in an equilateral triangle always all the angles are 60 degrees okay all the angles are always 60 degrees now we'll see and types of triangles based on measurement of angles so we have something called as an acute triangle obtuse triangle and then right angled triangle so what is an acute triangle when uh, angles triangles in which all of three angles are measure less than 90 degree they are called as an acute angle when all the angles in a triangle are less than 90 degree then it is called as an acute angled triangle an obtuse triangle when one angle measures greater than 90 and less than 180 then it is called as an obtuse triangle or when an triangle has one obtuse angle then it will be called as an obtuse angled triangle then right angle when a triangle measures has one angle which measures exactly 90 degrees then it is called as an right angled triangle so what's an acute triangle triangle which measures all the three angles measures less than 90 degree so here if you see one angle is 80 one is 30 one is 70 all are acute angles correct so this is an acute angle triangle then obtuse angle where triangles in which one angle measures greater than 90 degree so if you see here one angle is 30 one is 40 and one is 110 So your hundred and ten is an obtuse angle. So this is an obtuse angled triangle. Then right angle triangle where one angle measures exactly ninety degrees. So this angle here is exactly ninety degrees. So it is called as an right angled triangle. Okay. So some few more properties in a triangle. Okay. Now all triangle, all the angles in the scalene triangle are different. All sides are also different. All the angles are also different now we saw that two angles in the isosceles triangle are equal okay then all the angles in an equilateral triangle are equal and they are equal to 60 degrees so we already saw this okay and all the angles in any triangle when you so a triangle will have three angles okay these three angles when you add it they will give you a sum of 180 degrees okay so all the angles in any triangle you take a scalene triangle and isosceles triangle or an equilateral triangle they always add up to 180 degrees so the sum of all the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees okay so this was all about 
triangles. Now let's solve a few questions which are given in your textbook. Okay. So first exercise 4.2 on page number 132. So they have told tick the correct statements. Okay, you have to tick the correct statements. So first one, a scaling, uh, a scaling triangle has all sides unequal. So we just now saw that in a scaling triangle all the sides are unequal. So this is right. So we will put a tick mark here. Then an obtuse angle triangle has all its angles greater than 90 degrees. That's false. Only one angle is greater than 90 degree in a obtuse angle. So the statement is not true. Then a right angle triangle can never be equilateral. This is true. Okay. A right angle triangle can never be equilateral because a equilateral triangle has all 60 degrees. Okay. So if one angle is 90 degrees in a triangle, the rest of the, ang uh, the other two angles will not, cannot be 90 degrees because we just now saw that some of all the angles are 90 degrees. Okay, so a right angle, tra oh, sorry, 180 degrees. So right angle triangle can never be equilateral. So this is true. Then consider the given length of the sides of this triangle and classify them as equilateral, isosceles and scalene. Okay, first one. One side is PQ is 5 centimeters, QR is 7 centimeters and PR is 6 centimeters. All the sides are of different lengths. So what kind of a triangle is this? It is a scalene triangle. So we'll write here scalene triangle. Next one. Eight, uh, ED is 8 centimeters, FT is 8 centimeters and EF is 6 centimeters. So two sides are of the same length. So what triangle is this? It is an isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle. Okay and the last one is for you to do at home. Then, question 3. Classify the following triangles based on the angle. So, one angle is 45 degrees. Okay, in triangle LMN, angle L is 45, angle M is 45 degrees, angle N is 90 degrees. So, one angle is 90 degrees. So, what kind of triangle this is? It is an right angle triangle. Okay, right angle triangle. Next one. And in triangle PQR, angle P is 80 degree, Q is 55 degree and R is 45 degree. All are less than 90, so all are acute angles. So it is an acute angle triangle. Acute angle triangle. Okay, next one. In triangle EFG, angle E is 100 degree, F is 50 degree and G is 30 degree. So Angle E is 100 degree which is greater than 90. So it is an obtuse angle triangle. Okay, it's an obtuse angle triangle. Alright, so this was all about triangles. In the next class we will study all about circles and how to construct circles. Okay, so I will see you all in the next class students. Uh, there is no much homework this time. So you can do this. Alright. And you can try and you can uh, try to do different types of triangles and check their angles for your homework. Okay, you can draw a scalene triangle with all three sides different. Try to find the angles in a scalene triangle. And you can draw isosceles triangle which has two equal uh, lengths and try to prove that two angles in an isosceles triangle are equal. Same with an equilateral triangle, you can draw three sides of equal length. And try to prove again that all the angles in an equilateral triangle are 60 degrees. Okay, so do so much for your homework. Next class will start with circles. Okay, thank you.